In this video today, we're going to be going over a lot of potential new changes that Valve has on the horizon, some of the things that they are planning, uh, and also some ways that these things are going to impact the market, and maybe even some ways that you guys can make some money off of this whole thing as well. Um, obviously, as we know, Valve has been very active on Twitter lately. There are some big things coming, and there's also some big things uh, coming up to end the year for Counter-Strike 2 as well. So a lot to talk about in the Counter-Strike 2 scene, uh, and we're going to get through all of that today. Today's video is sponsored by Skins Monkey, an automated CS2 trading platform where you can turn your skins into new ones simple and easy all you have to do is click on the skins that you want to get rid of click on the skins that you want and then click trade items now if you don't have enough balance for the items you want you can use code germ to get up to five dollars free bonus on your first trade you can also use that same code germ uh, to get a five percent extra deposit bonus on top of the 30 percent deposit bonus that skins monkey is already offering so there's really no reason to not go check out skins monkey with that first link in the description below today so this tweet right here was big for a couple of different reasons obviously Valve tweeted this out on November 6th of 2024. They said release notes are back and better than ever. Check them out. And this wasn't some like crazy insane update, but it was actually maybe a little bit of an underrated one. There was a lot of um, quality of life stuff, some really, really nice fixes. And some people actually came out um, after this patch saying, that, hey, the game felt a lot better. The game felt um, some people saying the game felt a little bit more like CSGO. The game just felt a little smoother, a little cleaner. A lot of things that people were really, really happy and excited about. So I think overall this patch came out and was really, really good. Um, but some of the interesting stuff about this tweet as well is it also teased some of the changes that we have been expecting and talking about on this channel as of late uh, where Gabe Follower said devs are referencing an old train tweet um, like he says also lots of quality of life changes this was a good patch overall a patch that people should be happy with uh, and also just shows the, the the growth and improvement of Counter-Strike 2 over the this year you know 2024 I know uh, going into 2024 people are a little bit skeptical about CS2 saying the game felt horrible and the game was in a terrible state blah 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 well now hey 11 months later or like 12 13 months whatever later we've gotten a lot of quality of life changes and slowly the game is getting better over time this is not the game um, from cs2 on release this isn't even the game from like january of 2024 this game is consistently getting better better over time obviously you can still say it should have been better on release it should have been better in early 2024 whatever i'm not going to disagree uh, but still as long as the game gets to where it needs to be eventually that will still be a good thing for counter-strike and the counter-strike two markets uh in the long term so i think that's cool but also the big thing here is that valve in december of 2014 december 10th 20 2014 they tweeted train is back and better than ever check it out uh and again now their release notes from this day said release notes are back and better than ever check them out again this definitely seems to be them hinting at train coming back um obviously counter-strike could also change their banner on twitter this was a very very big thing um and i know some people were like oh that's not train some people were saying that's like cobblestone or something like that i don't even know but um obviously people have um you know said that this is train that's the speculation uh we've heard you know rumors of of train coming back and also um counter-strike who had some tweeted had tweeted out some things or Counter Strike on Twitter had tweeted some things that um, were getting us to think that actually Vertigo is going to be removed from the competitive pool as well. Now again, people were um, speculating whether the, whether this means it's going to be for the Shanghai Major or whatever. But the RMR is literally starting in a couple of days. There's I would be shocked if this has anything to do with the Shanghai Major. Um, but we could definitely see Train uh, added to um, the like competitive queue uh, coming up very soon, and then maybe headed to, uh, added to the competitive pool with Vertigo getting removed. You know, like into the Premier Pool, um, maybe some time after the Shanghai Major early 2025 or something like that. That is kind of the expectation at that point. And again, um, Valve has definitely hinted at that even more with this latest tweet. They're kind of making things a little bit more obvious or they're just trolling us so epically. But uh, yes, the Gabe Follower, like you said, I mean, a ton of people are talking about this on Twitter. But I just want to show this Gabe Follower tweet where he says, yes, devs are referencing that old train tweet. It does seem like we are um, obviously going to be getting trained. This is a very, very big thing. Um, obviously, the which again, if uh, Vertigo is removed, there could be some interesting investment opportunities there. There could be some ways to help profit off that. Again, the last uh, map that we did see removed uh, from the competitive map pool was Overpass when Dust2 came in in, uh, I believe, April of 2024. Uh, and we can take a look at what some of those items did. We have stuff like the Masterpiece, stuff like the Op Pink DD Pat. And yeah, the Masterpiece in that time, this is from, uh, April, this is from I guess, er, the late March until now. Uh, uh, the masterpiece in factory new. This is the regular, not the souvenir. The regular is up 25% in that time period. Uh, the Op Pink DD Pat uh, is up 36% in that time period. And then the MP9 Storm, this is like obviously a trade up skin or like a lower tier skin um, from that set as well, is up 81%. So uh, items from the Overpass uh, collection after Overpass got taken out of the competitive pool have done very, very well. Uh, if Vertigo is expected to be taken out, if that's kind of what we're thinking at this point, um, there's definitely, uh, or at least very likely, mon some money to be made in maybe picking up some of these Vertigo items. 
items. Again, we did see that at least for overpass, those lower tier, those trade up skins, the very, very bottom, uh, they perform the best. And that made sense, obviously, uh, with those items uh, at the bottom being able to trade up, but being nothing being traded up into them, though that supply is just going to be decreasing over time. Uh, and they the, oftentimes we see those trade up skins, you know, outperform even some of those higher tier skins. But um, there's probably still some money, be money to be made off things like the M41S Imminent Danger, maybe even the 5.7 Fall Hazard, the SG Hazard Pay, you know, those are maybe not as exciting. Uh, but stuff down here, uh, like the FAMAS faulty wiring or the MAC 10 strats, you know, th those could be some things um, where you could potentially invest in them. Let me put the cat down real quick. Uh, the cat was about to knock everything over on my desk. Um, those could definitely be some ways to make some money here. I think that could definitely be um, interesting. <clears throat> also, the big question is going to be uh, if we do get train coming back and we get uh, vertigo removed, you know, is there going to be a new train collection or not? Obviously, if there is not a new train collection, um, that could potentially be bad news for some stuff like the M4A4 Coalition, uh, Gamma Doppler, uh, Glock 18, the USPS Whiteout, uh, and some of these other items. But I do think that at this point, people are pretty much expecting uh, with train coming back, we would get a new train collection, uh, which could mean, uh, you know, some pretty good news for a lot of these 2021 train items as well. Um, it could definitely be a nice boost for them. So um, some interesting potential investment opportunities from this whole thing could definitely be, uh, you know, I think uh, some some Vertigo 2021 collection items or some train collection items as well. I think the Vertigo items probably are a safer bet and probably make a little bit more sense. Um, but I think the train items could be interesting as well. Now we have even more news and some other big, big, big updates coming to Counter-Strike 2 at some point in the future as well. Uh, Thor CS2, he tweeted this out the other day, uh, reduced animation related network uh, bandwidth usage. Again, this was a, an update uh, that we got to Counter-Strike 2. And Thor said, is this the fix that you were working on from a long time? Can you please confirm uh, at Z post facto? This is an engineer at Valve. You know, this is a guy who he's been pretty active on Twitter, helps a lot of people on like Twitter and Reddit, talks to them about the game and game development, and all this different stuff. Uh, and, you know, that's not something we get all the time from Steam and from Valve and, and, and from CS2 people, especially. Um, but he says this is a good improvement, but not the big fix. I'm not involved with either. There are people, uh, there are other people on the team, which uh, we, a lot of people were kind of memeing about that and saying, hey, um, this is a good sign. This shows that Valve has multiple developers. There's actually more than one person working on CS2, which is um, something that's been a long running joke for a long time, but that's definitely exciting. But also what is interesting here is, again, people talking about more good fixes coming to CS2. That's awesome. People being hyped up and excited about this, saying it's helping, the game feels better, you know, fixing bandwidth issues, network related stuff, um, jittering, all that stuff. Um, but him also saying this is a good improvement, but not the big fix. So that means a big fix is coming to CS2 at some point. Um, now I know, like I said, a lot of people have wanted uh, CS2 to be better and they've expected it to be better sooner or whatever, but we are hearing that the valves are working, valve devs are working on a lot of different things behind the scenes, but some of these are very, very big projects. Some of them are very time consuming, probably challenging. Some of them take time. Um, so valve is working on some kind of bigger fix um, to CS2 coming. Now I do think that obviously it's very, very important to get CS2 into the best state possible very soon. And I'm glad that they are putting out um, um, you know, updates like this one, where we're getting a lot of quality life, uh, quality of life updates, not only um, because we have the Shanghai major and we want the game to be as smooth and, and, and as clean for the pros and, and the eSport as we can, because I really think the Shanghai major is going to have some insane viewership, especially, you know, with it taking place in China. I think we're going to get a big spike in international viewership, but also um, I think the viewership from the West is still going to be very, very strong. Uh, and it's going to be a big opportunity to showcase CS2 on a huge stage, but it's also people are going to be watching those and then they're going to want to go play the game after, you know, watching some really hype Shanghai major matches. So you want the game to be uh, as clean and as, you know, fully functional as possible and in the best state as possible. So I think these uh, updates are really, really good. Um, but also knowing that a bigger fix is on the horizon and that they are still working on very, very big fixes behind the scenes. That is a very good sign uh, for Counter-Strike 2. Uh, again, we, this update could come at some point in 2024. It could be something to wait and expect on in 2025. We don't know. I, we haven't really, we don't really have a timeline on this whole thing. Um, but we had heard previously um, was this, you know, Fletcher Dunn had tweeted out something about uh, posting his wins from Chat GPT. They were working on some matchmaking stuff for Deadlock. This guy says, I'm praying for you. The CS Crybabies will swarm you anytime you mention Deadlock. And Fletcher Dunn said, I have some new network stuff that will be shipping in CS soon. Now, again, he said this in October. He said it was going to be shipping soon. We don't know what that means. Um, but again, they are working on some big network stuff. They're working on some big stuff that will hopefully you know, improve the feel, um, the smoothness, all of that good stuff of CS. Um, I know Reddit was really happy about a lot of the recent CS2 updates as well, which is always cool to see. Uh, very 
various adjustments to bullet hit feedback in the patch and they say hopefully this is big he says tested in deathmatch it looks a lot more like csgo i love it and then also we saw in the cs2 subreddit a new cs2 update enhances spray mechanics with improved particle effects and the last bullet impact marker bringing back that csgo feel obviously csgo is a game that people know and love the the feel of it was crisp and smooth and yes csgo had its errors and had its faults but i know a lot of people um, really really loved it it was a very popular game so um, bringing back some of that csgo feel and vibe in some ways is definitely something people really really want as well so all different kinds of big things going on some big things uh to expect on the horizon you know like train coming in potentially vertigo being removed um you know probably some new collections and skins and stuff like that could we get a new uh train collection added to the armory at, at some point that would be obviously cool and exciting again shanghai is right around the corner and eventually some big fix is coming to cs2 uh that we can expect soon whatever that means but yes changes are happening valve is doing things they're fixing the game um, but there's also still things going on behind the scenes and more changes coming uh to gameplay uh to the quality to all that different stuff so lots to be excited about um whether you are a cs player an esports fan or an investor collector whatever um i think you know if the game gets fixed and they make improvements and make new content new maps that's going to be good for everybody involved so i can't wait and of course people want to see vertigo removed so let's bring in train let's get rid of vertigo let's do it pretty much of this video today guys hopefully I catch you the next one until then peace